Today I'm going to show you the Ace Inline Spectrogram plugin that comes bundled with Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C and is incredibly useful when you're in the mixer view for keeping an eye on what's going on on individual tracks and making sure that there are no strange goings on in terms of frequency response. Perhaps you're in an unusual studio, perhaps you're working on headphones and you just want to keep a visual eye on any unusual frequency responses flagging up just in case you can't hear them. So I have a few of these set up, one on a kick sample, one on a snare sample, and a couple on some electric guitars. Let's play through and see what we can learn from the readouts. Well, as you can see, the snare sample is nice and rhythmic, lots of high frequency content there. So this is your low frequency content, it goes right up to the top. Uh, the kick, again, less high frequency content. And as we move over to look at the guitars, you'll notice something really interesting here. The guitars almost cut off. There's lots of high frequency content up to a certain point, and then it cuts off. That's probably about 12 or 14 kilohertz. Why is this the case? Well, electric guitar uh, cabinets generally don't reproduce uh, the input above a certain frequency because they don't have tweeters. So you'll find electric guitars cut off very severely at mm, somewhere around 12 to 14K, something like that. So the inline spectrogram is showing me exactly that. It's kind of useful because if something is unusual, then at least our attention will be drawn to it. And it helps us speed up the mix process because it lets us listen to things that we might not notice initially. Never be afraid to use visual metering tools. Whatever helps you get that mix that you're after. So if you want to know more about Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C and the incredible tools that it comes bundled with, get yourselves over to harrisonconsoles.com and I will see you all next time.